Welcome guys, this is Amy Hunt, Home Business Expert. Again, I have Kefir back from DSM Tool. We are going to talk today about the Vero issue going on with eBay and across platforms. Uh, Kefir, go ahead and take it away. Let us know, what uh, you're the expert. What do we know and what should we know about Vero? Hey Amy, first, Thank you again for hosting me uh, on your channel today. Before I start talking about Vero, let's talk about t-shirts, no? Oh yes, let's do that. So last video we talked about, um, we had a winner, we had a, I guess an incentive going on out there for um, somebody who watched the last video about um, drop shipping and the policies that eBay was just throwing out there to all of us and, and some of your comments. And we have picked Lillian Arihi, I, I think I'm hopefully not butchering your name too much. And what she said is, I'm glad to have come across this video. Thanks for letting us, in, letting us know what eBay is up to. DSM tool, I sure will try it. I just am com not comfortable doing drop shipping yet, but eventually step out of the box and try it all the same. Nice video. So this is Lillian. She's just getting started. Um, I'm hoping to jumpstart her business and, and encourage her with a new DSM tool t-shirt so thank you Kefir, for that incentive that we have for our subscribers of course uh, lily uh, please send your details to uh, amy uh, just for the shipping and we'll take care of it from there all right let's talk about vero uh, which is today's subject that i brought for you guys so uh, i actually brought with me a presentation so i'm going to start the presentation and i mean i think that it might look much better than me <laughs> I got it right it's here. all good it's all good <laughs> i got it right here and the, the subject of the presentation today is how to protect your account uh, when it comes to ebay vero and i'm going to talk about four things it's going to not going to take too long i'm going to talk about what is ebay vero at all for people that are just starting uh, like lily and like people that are not 100 percent sure what is it at all i'm going to talk about the difference between the official ebay vero list and what happens in reality I'm going to talk about, I'm going to give some tips that are general tips for anyone, whether you're using a dropshipping software, when you, whether you're dropshipping manually from wholesalers, anything uh, that you do, now how to avoid listing uh, Vero items and get Vero violations. And then obviously I'm here from DSM tool, so I am going to promote a new feature and in general our three layers protection uh, for Vero. Okay. I'm going to go right down to it. Sounds good. Let's understand first what is Vero. So Vero is all about, it's, it's an acronym for uh, Verified Rights Ownership for Intellectual Property. Oh, that sounds horrible and <laughs> very legal talk. Yes. Uh, legal words. But what basically it means is because we are living now more and more in a world that is dependent on media, then a lot of brands have their... Uh, the, actually, the power of the brand is no more just what it produces, but actually what the brand name is. So the logo of the brand, I don't know if there is a jingle and audio for, for that brand, or even it, singers, it's their songs, and you as a YouTuber, it's your YouTube videos. And um, for us as a company, so the code that we're writing uh, is our intellectual property. And basically for brands... It's the logos, the images that they're using, the stock photos that they've created for themselves, for their products, et cetera, et cetera. The thing is that you don't want to mess with uh, Vero. And the, the reason for that is because once you publish an item, a listing on eBay, uh, if you violated some uh, rights, some intellectual property rights of a brand, you are going to get... Um, the, the item is going to be marked as a violation. Now, for the first item, you will get a nice email that says, hey, you got a Vero violation. Uh, we removed your item. We ended the item on eBay. The second time, the third time, eventually you, your account is going to get suspended for three days and then for seven days, and eventually you're just going to lose your account. They're going to restrict it completely if you're violating Vero uh, too many times. If you get like uh, uh, Vero violation marks, let's call it this way. Okay. Um, so how do you even know when you're listing an item whether it's Vero or not? Uh, if you go to vero.ebay.com, they have an official list that they publish there. It's sorted from A to Z. There are about 2,000 brands there. And in theory, you would say, okay, so I'll just not list the items that are in the official Vero brand list. But it doesn't end there. What actually happens is that 
brands can still any brand any any person in the world that owns a brand and has an ownership of the intellectual property of that brand of the images of the logo of the name of the brand anything like that and he can prove it can um, contact eBay he can fill up a form that says this and that listing is violating my um, rights for intellectual property and what happens then is that even if that brand is not on the official Vero list you will still get a uh, Vero violation and as you remember if you start collecting them the more you get the more chance that you're going to lose your account it's not a very sustainable way to manage your business and we are here to manage a sustainable business that will last for a long time so I brought with me a few tips that are I am Full disclosure, right after I'm telling those tips, I also show how we do it automatically in DSM tool, but I do want to share tips with anyone that is doing dropshipping or anyone that is selling on eBay. So the first thing that you want to do is that if you have, if you do not have an agreement with your supplier to sell a specific brand or specific uh, range of items, you want to check before you list an item, uh, the vero.ebay.com, a list of brands and make sure that the brand name doesn't appear in that list. More than that, the list changes from time to time. Brands, new brands comes up, old brands, you know, stops caring about who's uh, who's remark or reselling them or who doesn't. So the list changes. It doesn't happen a lot, but it can it can happen. So you would want to monitor your items. Let's say you you have a thousand listings on eBay. You would want once in a while to open yourself a task. You are managing your business. You do want to manage your risk and lower the risk as much as possible. So once in a while, take, I don't know, 5% of your items, check their brand names and compare that to the list in vero.ebay.com uh, vero just to make sure that those, those items that you published nine months ago didn't suddenly become a Vero items. Uh, because if, if you published an item nine months ago and it's selling well since then, it's an evergreen item, it sells all year long, you have like, I don't know, five sales a month. If it becomes a Vero, you might want to take it off. You might want to, to end it on eBay. You might not want to sell it in order not to get the violation. Now, is this something DSM tool will pop up if, as time changes, like as products indicate that they're Vero? Will that be something that we can refresh and DSM tool will show us? Or... Is that something we manually need to go into DSM and just check our listings? I'm, happy. I'm very happy that you're asking that question because the answer is going to come up in about a minute. No, okay. Um, the, the last thing that I want to say, which is a tip for everyone, is to avoid listing brands. If, if it's a known brand name, for example, if it's in a specific category, let's say, I don't know, if you're selling from the baby toys categories all of the parents knows what are the known brands for for you know for babies and you might want to avoid those brands and especially if those brands are investing a lot in marketing and advertising maybe they would care a lot also about the customer service and will not want to have resellers that sell their items without permission and therefore it's a very very vague and hard to follow rule to say try to avoid listing brands but what i can do tell you is that if you do get agreements with uh, wholesale suppliers or stuff like that then you can um, definitely get agreement to sell those specific brands and then you know that you're safe uh, so okay go on the safe side so what about dsm tool how do we provide protection for our users it's called the three i call it the three layers protection Layer one is the official Vero list. If an item is on, uh, if a brand is on the official Vero list of eBay, we block the ability to list those items. You're just going to get an error that says you can't list that item. It's in the official Vero list of eBay. Okay. So sometimes uh, uh, the DSM comments in my YouTube videos are, I'm getting an error for, you know, and they don't tell me what, but I'm guessing that a lot of times it's protecting them from Vero, Vero issues. They need to be aware of that. Well, I can't tell because they don't say what the error is, but I can tell you that there is a 24-hour chat support that they can write to with the error, and then they'll get, within minutes, they'll get an answer. But this is a good error to, to note, you know, note in your brain. Oh, yeah. Don't just, like, skip it and think it's a bad, you know, DSM tool thing, um, which I sometimes think people think it's DSM, but they're actually protecting you, and I'm trying to say, like, you better get DSM tool if you're doing this because they're going to tell you that you're not supposed to be doing that. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should change the protection errors color from red. Yeah, to it could. Yeah, it could be. Check it out. 
second layer is the second layer uh, is all about protecting uh, our customers from uh, those brands that are not on the official vir uh, list. So what we did is for the past two and a half years, we asked people, and we we're still asking that, to every, if you got a Vero violation, all right, there's nothing to do with that, but at least let's help the community of dropshippers. So we have in one of the pages in DSM tool, it's called the price monitor page. At the bottom, there is a big red button that says report Vero, and then it pops up that screen that you see, and you can write the name of the brand, and you can submit it, and we check those brands, and uh, we add them to the list, and then, it will as well block the, those uh, uh, brands if you try to list them. It is possible though, if you do have an agreement with a, with a seller and it was reported by another user, you can turn it off in the user settings and then uh, you will be able to list those items. But otherwise you will not be able to list uh, those items, which is a great protection and what I recommend to put in the, in the lister settings. Okay. Um, third layer, it's pretty new. I talked about it briefly in the previous video when, uh, when we did a video together. Yes. I want to talk about it further today. It's a Vero scanner, which is exactly what comes to solve the problem that I talked about of, the, of brands that goes in and out from the Vero list. Remember that item that we published nine months ago was a great seller, but now it's a Vero brand? Yes. All right. So the Vero scanner will go every 24 hours through all of the items in your account, all of the listings, we'll check the brand name and we'll compare them to both the official Vero list and the reported Vero list. And if anything, if it finds anything, it will pop up an alert in your dashboard screen. And what you could do then is you could click on that uh, alert and you could see those items in the price monitor and take an immediate action, which my recommendation is to end them immediately. Further uh, on this year, we hope to be able to release an automation for that process uh, where you could set a rule that says if you find a, a Vero brand, we add more and more suppliers this year, which means that um, all of those suppliers will also have that feature of collecting items and auto-pasting uh, addresses and, uh, and tracking information and all of that, uh, like a full suit within that Chrome extension. But also, if the... Uh, if the retailer or the wholesaler that we're supporting has uh, the brand name in the page uh, vi visually, like here on Amazon, you can see that uh, the, brand, the brand name exists on the page. We can already mark it while you're collecting items to publish. We can already mark the item as Vero item and save you time so you won't have to even try to list those items. So that's another tip for those of you who collect items with the item collector uh, uh, using the Chrome extension. Okay. Uh, um, that's it. That, that's all I had to say about Vero today. I hope that it was so. Uh, it, that it was informative for those of you who are not very familiar with the concept of how to work with Vero items and what they are and how to protect your account. And that's what we've done for you guys. And now I'm open up. I'm opening it up for uh, questions from you, Amy. Well, I just have to reiterate. We were laughing about this earlier. In my early dropshipping years, uh, one of the things I drop shipped was Lego. And I didn't realize it. it was ignorance, you know, I'm trying to sift through and filter through and just try to figure this whole system out. And I was selling Legos like crazy. Um, I was actually selling so many. I would go to the Lego site. I would use my whole system. And then uh, I got banned from Lego and I had no idea. I didn't have any warning, but apparently it was against their policies. It was, you know, pro now they have... Just like before when I started, there was no word drop ship, but now they have Vero, which is against the brand uh, selling, you know, somebody else selling their brand. I mean, it takes away from their brand if somebody just jumps in and starts selling it and they're not supposed to. So it's a real thing um, and you do have to be careful with it. And it's it's relieving and assuring to know that, that there's your system, your tool that's backing up what my good intentions are in trying to make some, you know, good, you know, money legally and, uh, you know, within the, the guidelines and the rules. So it's, it's great to have. We do, like, we did talk about it in the last video about, you know, stacking violations uh, of, of eBay policy and retail arbitrage is now being fully discussed whether how, you know, how will eBay treat it in, in the upcoming uh, years or, or the future time? And that's exactly part of it. I mean, you want 
to not stack up violations and not having zero violations is a major part of it, if you ask me. Yeah. Oh, well, I know in some of the uh, comments and, and such from previous videos, eBay is tracking us now. Okay. So there, there's a possibility of us being, you know, given warnings, given this, you know, violation kind of information. I've heard in other videos and other YouTubes about Blue Care Express, where it helps you not be identified through tracking, um, but at the same time, you're abiding by the policies. Can you talk a little bit about Blue Care Express, what you think? Um, yeah. Go from there. First, I've watched those videos as well, so I'm familiar with that solution that you're mentioning. Um, here is the thing. I, I want to say two things. First, uh, Blue Care Express is under development and is going to be supported uh, for uh, first and foremost for the top shipping, uh, sorry, top rated seller, uh, the ability to become a top rated seller for Amazon Logistics for those who drop ship uh, doing retail arbitrage from Amazon. That's the first thing. It's already under development. It's going to be released. It's going to be for free. Um, and here is here is the next thing. So what all of the recommendations are saying, or all of the recommendations that I've heard are saying, or at least some of the recommendations, is that you could apply Blooker Express tracking information to all of your orders, no matter where you're shipping from, as long you know, as long it's it's within the U.S. From China, I guess it's not relevant for Chinese tracking information, but I think it's relevant for U.S. Uh, suppliers, and. Um, we are thinking, and I'll tell you what, I would love to hear what does the audience think about it, whether we should do it or shouldn't do it. Because we are thinking about allowing um, uh, users to have all of their tracking information uh, go through Blooker Express. The thing is that while we don't mind financing it for everyone who are using it for Amazon Logistics, doing it for all of the orders that uh, DSM tool processes is very hard for us to do I mean, it just makes us almost not profitable, and therefore we would have to charge for it. And if the if you know, I'd love to hear in the comments below if people are thinking that it's a great solution and they do want us to develop it. We will develop it. We will add some charge for the uh, for going through Blooker Express within all of your orders, and then for sure, no problem. I mean. It, it all depends on the demand. So we don't have any uh, yet any verify, you know, we don't have anyone who completely verified and tried it for months and can tell us that for sure, here is the solution. I have to be skeptical, not because I don't think that it's a solution, just because I always have to be skeptical when it comes to how will eBay decide who is a dropshipper, who isn't a dropshipper. Right. If you ask me, Using Blooker Express could maybe be part of the solution, but we talked about it already. Understanding that the buyer experience is what eBay is all about and trying to be legitimate on eBay is definitely and by far the first and foremost important solution. Because even if you would go through any kind of service, it won't help if you don't give a great service to your customers and it won't help if you don't provide an accurate information about your listings etc etc everything that we talked about in the previous video do i think that blooker express for all of the orders is a great solution i don't know i'm willing to try that it will take development on our side and we're willing to do that if there will be demand and people will say we are planning to use that if you do develop it so i mean yeah so comment yeah below. comment below uh let us know what your thoughts are would it be worth it to you it almost seems like to me you know we have health care insurance we have car insurance we have house insurance, we have all this other insurance. It almost seems like if you're a, e a drop shipper and you're on eBay or wherever you are, this blue care through your system seems like it would be a great like insurance for drop shipping. Like it, it kind of covers you, but you know, maybe, maybe it'll we work that way. Remember, we just need to remember that it's still a theory. It is verified very shortly by YouTube. Right. That said, these are great YouTubers. We are in contact. But it like and it seems to be like a legitimate solution, but we don't know if that's the the one solution that would solve all of the problems. I believe that it's a complex of solutions, and the far most important thing is to understand that whoever told you that you're gonna have financial freedom by working one hour a day was lying to you. Yeah. If one hour a day would bring to financial freedom, we wouldn't have you know, we wouldn't be talking right now. We would just do that and be financially free, wouldn't we? Right. We 
before that video, we talked about how long hours we're working and how we can't stop thinking and trying to do new entrepreneurial stuff. And that's the true, the honest truth about uh, being a dropshipper and doing entrepreneurship in general. And as I said, write, the, write it down in the comments below. It's a great feature request. We are willing to, to you know, even develop it. Uh, definitely, we will keep considering it. We already had a discussion about it. We're waiting for a little bit more comments from people. Okay. Um, saying that, just remember that it's not the full solution for the eBay dropshipping uh, business, um, let's call it business method, business. Okay. I lost the word. That's all right. I, I, I'm going to ask one more question that I'm, I'm thinking about, and I kind of is outside the realm of DSM tool, but it's on the realm of Vero. Um, there's some people that are still doing retail arbitrage. So some people will order some items. They'll have it shipped to their house, or they go shopping and they get items, and they actually ship them out. So let's say I have a Lego item, and I put it on eBay. Is that against Vero? Basically, if you put the brand name Vero and you don't have that, that's exactly that's exactly why I gave the the idea for also people that sell stuff from home and stuff like that. If you sell it brand new and you put the Lego brand name, you might be you might and and you're using the intellectual property of Vero. If you take the pictures yourself and all of that, okay, a problem. If you are uh, using the stock photos from the Lego uh, Lego website you might be violating Vero. Okay. It's all about intellectual property. Okay. You say whether selling the, only the brand, but you're not using the pictures. If you don't use the picture, I'm having a hard time to believe that anyone would, would care. Because that's but, the basis where, where eBay started. <laughs> I would think that's shooting them. Hand? Yes. Yes. Well, Second hand is definitely not a problem. That's okay. Related. And you take your own photos. Start by taking photos yourself. Like buy, I don't know, like if you want to, if it's brand new stuff, buy these little tents that you can take pictures with your cell phone and it looks yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Use them as photos instead of the stock photos from uh, other websites. Um, okay. All right. Try to use, you know, try to use a software to list those items from another website and then make your you make your life a lot easier. <laughs> That's yeah. why drop shipping is is so fantastic because you don't have the storage. Um, and you don't have all that shipping and all that. Believe me, I've been through it. And that DSM tool is such a fantastic. That's why I'm sticking with this. I mean, it's so easy. Um, just You just need to learn a little bit, abide by the policies, invest a little time. And DSM tool does the rest. Look, they're, they're working long hours to make it easy for us. So, well, thank you. Hey, wait until next week. I don't want to say next week. But let, wait as if as in the upcoming days we're going to release a completely new and look to our rapid lister, which is the most used page. The entire website was already changed, like all the designs. Yeah. But we waited with the rapid lister because we wanted first to develop the uh, support for item variations. Uh, and when that goes live, it goes live with a brand new uh, design, a very, very uh, user experience oriented. So it's going to be even easier and more fun uh, to use it. Great. Well, thanks so much here for again, guys, if you want to sign up for DSM tool, it is free. Look in the description below, leave a comment. Let us know if you would use the blue care express, which is the tracking, uh, hiding the location and helping you on eBay. Let us know if that's something you're interested in. You have questions about it and it's, subscribe and get notified because we're going to do more videos in upcoming and changing information on dropshipping with DSM tool. Thanks for watching and see you on the other video.